It was one month ago to the day I was sitting in this very chair, drinking from this very mug, that in that very tree, I got the surprise of a lifetime. I saw this beautiful, precious blue jay. I was so excited, I wanted a better angle. I ran upstairs, drop kicked out my screen, and it was gone, and I never saw it again. And I've been looking for it every single day. Well, I wanna change that. I wanna see it again. So I'm gonna do the only thing I think that this blue jay would love. I'm gonna build in a neighborhood. All right, so I think step one, I need to go and I need to get some unfinished, unpainted birdhouses. And the thing is, I kind of have a supplier, which it's kind of a little shady. Like, if you know him really well, the supplier, you can call him Mikey. You need like a code to really kind of get the best price. Really tough roads to get there. So why don't you come with me? Let's, let's go on this journey together, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta go down a side alley. I made it. All right, so I'm back. I got my haul of birdhouses. I want this to be like an eat, sleep, work, play environment for this bird. You know those communities? You can do it all in one right where you live. Let me give you a sneak peek. For example, the bird can work in the diner. I think maybe this one, it can live in. I want it to feel really welcome, so I'm going to paint the bird's portrait on this house. I might even write like, welcome, this is your life now. I think I might just spray this blue before I get to the portrait, get a nice little base layer. I'm gonna get to work, let me go paint this. All right, that was quick. So while that dries, I'm gonna, I think I'll start painting my diner. All right, so I'm almost done with the diner. On a scale of one to 10, you now I rate it cute. And I have a lot more to do, so I'm gonna just keep on painting. Okay, good morning. I am going to paint the Blue Jay on his house. It looks good already. I made this little kind of texture on the roof. I was originally gonna paint the Blue Jay on the back, kind of for security and privacy reasons, because then the Blue Jay could see his portrait and then no other predators would know he was there. So it's kind of like security system. I think I want him to see it on a flyby. So I'm gonna paint him on the roof. I have my inspiration photo. I'm gonna use this to inspire me. So I'm gonna get to work. I have to start painting. I think I'm done and I think it looks just like my Blue Jay friend. While I was painting this, I got to thinking, I think I should probably give him a name. Originally I thought Blue, like come on Tim, that was, that's too expected. I'm trying to think of like rhyming things. If I made him like Bluey, Mooey, Zooey, Cooey, Wooey, Flooey, Flooey. Like he flewy to see me. Louie, Dewey, Dewey. I think he looks like a Dewey. His name's Dewey. Dewey. And I think there's one final step before I get these outside. I'm gonna make some bases for these to be able to sit on. And so I'm gonna go get to work. Then we'll have this neighborhood ready to go.
All right, so it's the next day. I'm getting ready to put the neighborhood up. So I got a new microphone for outside so I could try and block out some of the traffic and things like that. All the reviews said it was really discreet and small. All right, so I have this tree line on my property. I think it would be really perfect if I built it in here. That's kind of where some birds like to hang out and that's where my hopes to get the Blue Jay back are. Let's get started. I have a couple other things that I think the Blue Jay is really gonna like. So let's put those together. I think we need to start with the town center, somewhere the Blue Jay can hang out, relax, get its food. Got some food. My friend is even on the bag, so it better work. Let's get other birds too while we're at it. Of course we need a bath and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be bougie. They're getting some spring water right here. A solarized fountain for my J. It's like a nice private camping spot in there for the camper van. I think for Dewey, Dewey gets a nice end unit. I think that might be it. Now we just wait. Welcome Dewey, it's time. All right, so update. So I haven't really seen anything yet and uh, it's been a little while. The squirrels are out of control. There's so many squirrels. I keep on hearing this bird. I have this app called BirdNet. It actually identifies birds via their sound. Let me sample it. All right, so it's scanning. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's a blue jay. What's, what do I wear? I'm, oh my gosh, I gotta go. What, which way? Ah. <gasps> I'm ready. Babe, you just missed him. What? Do we? Yes. Did you photo ID him? Of course. Well, luckily, the story doesn't end here. It actually, it became a bird paradise. It became a wonderland. The birds love it here. The squirrels are so annoying. I really wish they just weren't so cute. Oh yeah, and Dewey, yeah, he comes to see me every single day. There's only one way to end this story, by saying that I did in fact become friends with a bird. Oh, and sometimes he even brings a friend. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and why not watch one of these videos? Bye.